So you'll date a man without a job? No, I wouldn't, to be honest. No. So you wouldn't date yourself, basically. What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, China Ahu Party, coming to you live. We got a Kendra G video titled, Ready to be a Wife, Currently Not Working, Wants a Handsome, Confident, Tall, and Successful Man. Okay, I don't know if currently not working means that's her choice, or can she not keep a job? What, why is she not working? We're going to get right into this. Before we do, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get it. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's How are you doing? My name is Vicky. Vicky. Hi, everyone. Hi, um, I'm from, hi, I'm from Oakland, California, but I live in Atlanta now. Atlanta. How old are you, Vicky? Yes. I'm 34. 34? What you do for a living, honey? I'm unemployed right now, but I do work hard. I take good care of myself. I'm just looking for work right now. So From Cali to ATL, fast-paced areas. ATL with the Keith Lee haters. <laughs> I'm just playing. Let me stop. Yeah, maybe she just moved out there and she's looking for a job. That's understandable. Let's see how long she's been in ATL. That's the question. Are okay. you unemployed? Did you just lose your job or you've been unemployed for a while? Well, um, well I actually resigned because I want to get into like the Atlanta scene. My job took a lot of my time. I'm 34. I'm almost 35. And like, I kind of want to get into the scene and get out. But at the same time, it's like, I really don't like the attention at the same time. What do you want to get in the Atlanta scene in what way? I've always been scared to come out here. And I finally came out here. We'll say like in my early 20s when I was going out and, you know, young in college and traveling, I'd meet a lot of cool guys. They'd be like, come to Atlanta, come to Atlanta. And I'm like, I'm not ready yet, but I'm finally ready, so. Okay, so a couple things. How are you paying your bills if you're not working? I just lost, well, I just left my job like two weeks ago, so I'm okay until I find something else. Basing it off of her early 20s, people were telling her to move out there. Didn't she say she's like in her mid-30s, 34? Are they still asking her to come out? Maybe so, maybe so. But referring back to your early 20s, it sounds like, they're not asking you to come out there now. Are you looking for a new profession? Not really, no. So what does no. it mean? Okay, because I'm trying to understand. So you quit your job and I can get that. You're looking for a new profession. So what does it mean that I want to I want to get into the Atlanta scene? Like go to a job where I can be more interactive with people, more like the nightlife, like look for like a waitressing or bartending or, so you know. looking for another profession. What was your job before yeah. you quit? Um, I worked for the post office when COVID hit, and before that, I was teaching kids, and then COVID hit, so I went to the post office. So, so you, but you said you just quit your job two weeks ago, right? Yes. And that was the post office. No, it was it was a corporate job in down in Midtown Atlanta. So, and that tried the job. Like All right, it sounds like she's been in ATL for a little while. She's already had a job, but she decided to quit it to work in the nightlife scene. I don't think working in the nightlife scene is gonna scream. Marry me, marry me. You're gonna get good guys coming after you in the nightlife. At bars, you get guys that just wanna have a hookup. You know, they just wanna have a little fun. I know a lot of guys don't even like a woman working in that type of place. There's a lot of temptation. She used to be a teacher, worked at a post office. I think those are jobs where she would have had a higher chance of finding a good, respectable husband. Not at the workplace necessarily, but guys would respect that more than a woman typically working in a nightlife scene. Do you have any kids, Vicky? No, I do not. No kids. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. An Aries. So yes. this is Vicky in Atlanta, 34, Aries, unemployed. She quit a job two weeks ago. No kids. What kind of man are you looking mm -hmm. for, honey? Someone who is ready to love. You know, someone who is ready to accept a role as a man and be supportive to his woman and expecting his woman to be the same as well, you know? Okay. What are your deal breakers? Cheating. I don't, I don't believe in cheating at my age, at 34, 35. That's out the door. So She has no kids. She has enough money to take care of herself until she finds another job. She doesn't sound horrible. At the same time, I think it would be a good idea to get a job first before you start looking for a man in your life or somebody that you want to date because you need to have your stuff in order before you try to add on to somebody else's life or add something else into your life. So get the job first. Um, when was your last relationship? Um, June of last year. So not this June, the June of last year was my last relationship. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? September. The so, beginning of September. Okay. And you wasn't in a relationship? No. But, but you had sex? Yeah, I was an old friend from years ago. We came to visit. So. Okay. Fair okay. enough. Fair enough. So this is what I've been thinking about lately is, because cheating is the number one reason that women say they don't want to tolerate, they're not going to tolerate cheating. And I get that, but then how do you explain cheating as in your man sleeping with somebody else, but you're willing to sleep with somebody without a relationship? Mm, I don't get that question, honestly. It's different sleeping with somebody when you're not in a relationship versus being in a relationship and somebody cheating on you. I don't get what Kendra G is trying to get at here. 
because I'm single and doing what I want to do. You know, I'm single. So, hey, it's not just like a man I met yesterday. This is someone I actually had a connection with and he was in town and we just hooked up. I get that. I get that. But I think mm-hmm. situationships is a contradiction to a man that cheats. And the reason I say that is you are saying you will have sex with a man without a relationship. But if you get in a relationship and he, because the point is this, if you're having a situationship, more than likely he might be sleeping with somebody else. Mm-hmm. So that means in a non-relationship, you could sleep with a man that sleeps with other women. But then if you got in a relationship, it's like, oh, well, if you sleep with somebody else, I wouldn't be with you. So I think that women have to start probably letting go of situationships because it's kind of hard to be like, I can sleep with a man with no relationship and he can sleep with whoever and I'm fine with that. But if I get in a relationship, child, you better not sleep with nobody. It's like, it kind of contradicts. I can understand what Kendra G is trying to get at, but at the same time, there are different expectations when you have a situationship versus an actual relationship with somebody. So yes she should get rid of the situation ship it shouldn't happen again if she's truly looking for something serious looking to settle down but yeah you have your situation ships you don't expect that exclusivity with a relationship you should it's different i mean we would have to set that standard it's not like i met you today and you're gonna have to drop everything we would have to work you know to a healthy relationship to where we can establish that not just you met me today and cut off everything know what's going on and how can you know communicate okay fair enough let's keep going does the guy have to look a certain way just handsome and confident handsome and confident what, is, what do you consider handsome? Athletic. Okay. He has to athletic. be athletic. Tall, please tall. Like I'm used to tall. I, I used to, like when I was younger and I was like hot, you know, hotter. Um, I would say like six five, but I go like five eleven, so okay. around six feet. Yeah, around six feet. So five eleven, six feet. Athletic. Yes. So I'm gonna keep it real. First thing I notice when she asks for somebody athletic, it doesn't seem to be that she is an athletic type of person. But at the same time, people have their preferences. Okay, what about money? Does it make a certain amount of money? She has to be successful. Is there a money part to that? Not at the moment, no. Cause I'm gonna say, no judgment, but you actually are not working right now. No. Mm-mm. So would you consider yourself successful? Very, yes, very. So you would date a man without a job? N- no, I wouldn't, to be honest, no. <laughs> all right now she tripping <laughs> key word with her was has to be he has to be successful she currently doesn't have a job come on you gotta have your ish together if you want to have somebody that's very successful if that's your expectation you should make that an expectation of yourself if you want somebody that's athletic you should be getting active do some things go to the gym you actually might meet your partner there typically whatever you do wherever you are those are the people that you're going to attract again preferences understandable but has to be that is wild but you wanted to date you without a job we could talk about it and i would help him get to where he wanted to be or we wanted to be we would have to help each other you know yeah but you don't have a job so you're saying he, you would have date a man that so you would have date yourself basically I would. Yeah, I would. And I would help myself. Yes. So you would yeah. date a man without a job then? If he's willing to look for one, I'd help him. Now she's contradicting a little bit, kind of backtracking. At first, there was a hard no. No, I'm not going to date somebody without a job. But then Kendra G had to point it out that you don't have a job right now. Make it make sense. <laughs> okay. Let's do the yeah. Kendra cam. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Okay, ready? This is, can you see? We can see. I can think maybe it can, it can be my light. Let's see. Can you see me? Okay, we can see you. You look small. Yeah, I'm tiny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, probably probably like, why are you single? Why are you single? I'm like, well, it's kind of a secret. So I just. What happened? Who said, why are you single? There's someone which makes me afraid of something else, you know? The Kendrick Cam, it was kind of surprising. Not what I expected. I'll say that. She is a little bit more petite on the petite side. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Wait, I'm confused. You said that people are saying, why are you single? Why are you single? And who's the someone? I'm confused. What do you speak like? Speak full sentence. I've been around who I wanted to be with, but we've never interacted, you know? So you don't like you then. <sighs> it's that simple. You know, if, if, why, why haven't y'all interacted if you guys have been around each other? Men are simple. If you it's like, like, a fire. It's like, like fire. it, say again. It's like, a fire. it's like a fire that's there. And it's like, I'm not ready to touch that yet. It's not time. So he, he's trying to talk to you then? Yes. Oh, you said that you never interacted with him. It's a long story, but Give me the short version, because one instance you said you never interacted with him, and then now you're saying he tried to talk to you. This shouldn't be complicated. It's like, it's like it's like when you see something can be so beautiful and you know you can mess it up, it's like I'm not ready to touch it yet. Like that stove is too hot. Kendra G trying to come with the heat right now. Honestly, it's not making sense what she's saying. If it's 
something that that would be too hot to touch it would be beautiful if you guys did it what it doesn't make any sense just go for it make something happen that might be your guy that might be the one what you know explain this you told me at first he never interacted with you it's like a stove it's like don't touch it because no this is simple has he ever tried to talk to you like has he asked you out a date um he's shy like it's like we're no 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 has he asked you i'm asking you clear questions has he ever asked you out on a date not yet no I've been invited to go. We've been. I've been invited to go. You know, no, no, social. No, 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 no. The question is: Has he ever came up to you and said he wants to take you out on a date? Kendra G is looking for some direct answers, and this girl is just going all around it, <laughs> going all around the question. I hope she's not saying that she was invited to like a group thing and he was there. <laughs> Did the man ask you out on a date? That's the question. Not yet. No. And you feel as though, but but you feel as though he likes you. Yes. Why do you feel as though he likes you? And he's never asked you out on a date. Because it's not the right time. How do you know it's not the right time? Men are so simple. If he want, if he likes you, he would just ask you out on a date. What impression give? What impression has he given you that he likes you? The way it's just the chemistry. So and it's you're right. It's like I I want to let it go and move on, but it's like it's something. It's like. But what no. chemistry have you guys have never interacted? Sounds like she feels something. That's not really there. I believe what Kendra is saying on this one, guys have made it very clear that they are simple. If they want something, they're gonna go for it. If they wanna ask a girl out on a date, they're going to ask her. They don't beat around the bush. There are shy guys now, don't get me wrong, but if there's some tension there, there's some chemistry there, I would think the guy would make a move. He would take a shot. If not in person, maybe slide in your DMs on Facebook, something. It's kinda like, I don't know. And I never really got, I never got the opportunity to sit and really like, like, how do you feel? How do you, that interaction has never been there. So it's like, just move on, you know? Yes. I like the move on part. I think all women yeah. need to get this. If a man likes you, he's going to talk to you. So right. I know you like to, we like to do everything, but accept the fact that there's a movie about it and it's the truest thing. He's just, he might not just be that into you. I'm not trying to be rude, but yeah, I want you to get it. All the reason I want you to get it is because I don't want you to sit waiting on a man that probably really right. isn't an option. Right. Yeah, like ladies, you don't have to wonder. Men are women do be playing hard to get and be like, oh, I didn't. Men ain't like that. If he want to talk to you, child, he gonna talk to you. Yeah, that's true. What are three flaws you have to work on, Vicky? Girl, you better not pause that long. Acting like you don't have any flaws. We all got some flaws. <laughs> Number one for you, you're jobless. Okay that is a flaw you got to get your priorities straight i don't know why she is stuck right now <laughs> i don't nobody's perfect and i don't think my flaws are flaws i just think men aren't ready to receive that like uh i'm very caring i'm very honest i'm very attentive no, these are i said flaws these are good attributes flaws? yeah i think i broke them i used to put my family first okay but like if my mom needs something or my dad like drop everything and go like i didn't left the relationship because my grandfather was sick like i was like i gotta go so it's like, I have to live for myself. That's hard. And people say, you're such a sweet girl. Like, we just can't believe it. And I'm like, I can't believe it either. So it's just like. And now she is giving interview answers. <laughs> this is like that question. What is your biggest weakness? Ah, uh, sometimes I overwork myself and I just want to put all I have into it. But I just do too much for the company sometimes. And I don't, I don't put myself first. That's what she's doing right now. <laughs> And no disrespect to, to her life, like what's going on in her life. No disrespect at all. I believe that's all true. But come on, girl, give us some real flaws. But as far as like flawed, as a as a single woman looking to be in a relationship and what I would bring to the relationship, I honestly don't see any flaws. It's more of if the other person is ready to be in a happy, healthy, committed relationship. You don't think you have any flaws, Vicky, honey? I mean, I've worked on them. So it's like, why you would I want to work? not having a job, a guy will look at that as a flaw, but you're not having a job right now? No, not at all. Because I'm very well qualified. I'm very well qualified to get another one. So that's not a problem getting another job. It's never been a problem. It's just finding the right job. So okay, yeah. A big flaw for her is the lack of self-awareness right now. Like, come on, girl. We can all name some flaws that we have. Come on. Keep it real. Keep it a honey. Would you date a guy with kids? I have. And it's been really great. But like some of the other women were saying. I want my own, you know, I want my own husband. I want my own children. I want mine. I don't want to have to say, oh, yo, baby, mama, or somebody's got to leave or you got, I'm, I want my own, you know? Um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Vicky? Because we would be happy. You know, you get tired of explaining, you just want to do. 
And when you're ready to do, you have to make sure you, you try to make sure it's right. It, it's just, I guess it's just 34, 10 or 35 and understanding yourself and what you, it, it's, I don't know, it's just a transition age, 34 to 35. So, uh, and to be single and no kids and not married, never engaged, but then understand, don't put yourself in that situation if you're not ready to handle it. For one, her answer made no sense. Two, she just went off the rails. She went way left field, <laughs> okay? Why would a guy be happy to be with you? Why are you talking about the transition from 34 to 35? When I was 24, I wasn't thinking about getting married and having kids. Even though the man I was with would have been great to marry and have kids with, but I wasn't ready and I wasn't gonna pretend to be ready. And I'm 34 and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm already here. Like 10 years later, like, what are you gonna do, girl? You gotta do something now, because, uh. Okay, so the guy would be happy. Um, what's the age yeah. range you would date, honey? You're 34. I'm probably about 33 to like 39. Still want to have kids and stuff. I need my husband to be able to run behind his kids too, so. Oh, so he can have kids, all right. Yeah, I want my own. Oh, oh happy. Happy. Can, he have, can he have kids or no, he can't have kids? I want to say no. This lady just said 33 to 39. She doesn't want him to have kids. She wants him to be successful. She wants him to be tall. Let's just focus on the no kids. A 33-year-old to 39-year-old most likely has a child. If he doesn't, if he's successful, that means he's hyper successful, a very hardworking man that's focused on himself, like focused on his goals, and then he's gonna be ready to settle down eventually. She's asking for quite a bit. She's gotta get the job first before she asks for all of these things, I would believe. But maybe there is a successful man out there that meets all of her qualifications and may want her, you never know. We'll see, I could try, I'll try, but it's not something I'm looking for, you know? Do you want him to be in Atlanta? No, he doesn't have to be. Okay. All right, y'all, we're gonna stop it there. Honestly, she seems like a sweetheart. I'm gonna be real. I like her bubbly attitude, the positive thinking, but she has to be realistic. Not saying that she can't ever get what she's asking for, but she has to look at herself first, improve herself in every area possible. But for one, she doesn't even think she has any flaws. So it's gonna be hard to address those things that she could improve, but she's a sweet woman. I wish the best for her. Honestly, I do. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below. And until next time, I'm China. I who party. I'm out.